Hey there, Thomas here from Handy Software. Today I'll be going over the setup process to install HandyHost on a Raspberry Pi 4. I will be using a 512 gigabyte SSD for the OS and a one terabyte hard disk drive for Sitecoin storage hosting. Um, for those that don't know, HandyHost combines three different blockchains together to give you access for passive income by one, Sentinel. You can use Sentinel for bandwidth hosting, for DVPN, uh, a cache, you can run a cache nodes for server hosting, and also Sidecoin, um, you can host your unused storage. So all three of those give you passive income. Uh, today I'll be going over everything with the Raspberry Pi from start to finish and all the hardware that I use in this video will be in the link description below. So let's get started. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hook up our drive for the OS into our computer. This is this has the uh, 512 gigabyte SSD inside the enclosure. We're going to hook it up. We're going to go ahead and connect it to the Raspberry Pi imager, which you can download directly from them. I'll put the link down below and flash the OS for Ubuntu 20.04, I believe it is. It does have to be 64-bit. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up. And ignore that. You see it popped up right here. So here we're going to go to Choose OS, Other, General Purpose, Ubuntu. And we're going to go to the Ubuntu Desktop 21.04, 64 bit. So we click on that, choose your storage. Here goes my drive. And let's go ahead and start writing. Now that the image is installed on our disk, we're going to go ahead and connect it to our Raspberry Pi. It's the little guy right here. So for this right here, we're going to go ahead and connect it into one of these uh, USB ports. These are 3.0. Set that off to the side. We're going to go ahead and hook up our power. And our USB as well. Also want to go ahead and hook up our Ethernet. It's best, in my opinion, to run all of this handy software off of an Ethernet cable. You don't want to be hosting with a poor Wi-Fi connection. All right, let's go ahead and power it up. All right, so what I've done is I have plugged in the USB into the Raspberry Pi and currently setting up the OS for it. And this is probably gonna run for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again and kick it back on as soon as, uh, as, soon as it's up and running. And then I'll show you the rest for any host. Okay, now that the, soft, the operating system is installed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start configuring up any host. So first thing that came up is about an update to 21.04. Uh, we are going to skip that and eventually you can come back later in the settings and turn off your automatic updates and whatnot. So the first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and pull up our GitHub and download HandyHost.
let's click on handy host and we are going to go to releases here's the latest release so what I want to go ahead and do is download the DEB file I'm going to save that All right, so here's the file. What we're gonna go ahead and do is follow these instructions, download the release, I already did that. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal. We'll go ahead and keep this on the side menu, add favorites. All right, so first thing, Let's go ahead and CD into our downloads folder. Oh, this is the C. All right, and then we are going to copy this whole line right here to install. password all right now that this is going this will probably run for 15 20 minutes so I will come back as soon as it is done installing okay now that the install is done we can verify that by looking at the DOS prompt the terminal and you'll see the symbol and also does say done installing and or down the very bottom now you have the option to start typing again so this install is done so we're going to close out of that something you do want to do is go ahead and come on in here to settings and you're going to want to go to power and change the blank screen to never I've already done it while I was doing the install of HandyHost that's something I recommend that way you're not getting locked out temporarily and you know hopefully it doesn't mess with your internet connection while it goes in sleep mode or anything like that so that's that now what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up handy host it'll open up a new site for your local host and there you have it here's your sentinel I'm not going to do a wallet at this time. You have, do have an option for a dark mode. Go back to all services. Here is a cache. Same thing. Not doing a wallet at this time. And last would be Saya. And that's all. So any questions, drop a comment below and I will be happy to answer any, any and all questions that come through. Have a great day guys.